Good morning, and then 10. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello, whenever you're watching this. All right. So, before I even get into what I'm going to speak about today, I just want to address the issue with the emails and comments. Here's the deal. I will not redo any video ever again. It'll just be what it is. And if I like it, great. If I don't, well, then I won't redo it. The second time means the third time, and that probably would mean a fourth time and however many times it takes until I feel good about it. That's the point. And so, you know, for those who watch my um, <clears throat> video, um, you know, it should be all of you, really, um, over the weekly announcements. Just get see some stuff on there. Um... <clears throat> then I may have been a little manic, and a, you know, because I was rushed because of certain um, adilla dilla dances that had to be done, let's just say. And so I had a lot of announcements, and, um, you know, I was the way I was, and I'm not going to apologize for it. I'm not going to stand here and say, you know, oh, I'm sorry for being that way. I'll just do it again. No. So, you know, it was the way it was. I really think that it is nitpicky to look at the video and say, oh, that was the one where you were manic. And, you know, you can turn that mindset around and say, okay, well, it wasn't as smooth as other videos. However, here are the announcements. I gave you the information, this is what you need to know, that is what's important. That's what matters, that's what's positive. So I just want to, you know, um, you know, advise you of that. If you send me an email or comment, I will delete it. I will read it through, and if it has to do with that, I'll just put it in the trash, or if you leave me a comment on a video on YouTube or a Facebook post or something, I will try to find a way to remove that, because I don't need that. Um, no. So, I don't want to hear about it. I was perfectly aware of what I was saying and what I was doing. So, no. All right. So, I wanted to make a video version of this. Because this is what I think and this is what I believe. I believe that you should know about things in advance. So, um, on the 21st of November, we have something special happening. We have um, a nodal event happening. And this nodal event is going to be in two parts, so divided in two sections, morning and afternoon. And the buses will be arriving at the event at certain times for you to select your bus and then go on your own way. Information about that will be on the Facebook post and also through email and um, on my Menton page as well, because I don't want to get into those nitty-gritty details, even though the moon's in Virgo today. But so anyway, this will be a thrust, a force, a push into the deep end, kind of like how I was pushed literally into the deep end during my reverse nodal return. That was in the summer of 2013 when I went through the frightening experience of um, swimming lessons, and I was forced, and I was threatened that if I would not cooperate and do what they were telling me, that this female, you know, swimming instructor would dunk me, and so that was very fear-mongering, and that really set off the fear of going underwater for me, so I, I don't know how to swim underwater, you know, I didn't know how to swim, um, you know, let alone, and you could pay me a million trillion dollars, and I would not, you know, do the, um, 
Goblet of Fire Tournament Challenge 2. I would also not swim across the Atlantic or, you know, swim, you know, in a deep pool or something like that. So, anyway. But so, you know, that's kind of the metaphor for this. So, you know, you're taking your natal chart, and obviously you'll need to know that information. You'll need to know what sign your north node is in what house um, as well. But, well... Yeah. So, um, you know, you'll need to know that and the people there will need to know that information because it will be at Bimbi Tenses event and I have to double check. But anyway, this event will be highly prized and highly sprung. And so you'll be having your North Node and you'll be forced to go in that direction even if you feel absolutely uncomfortable. With it, so you'll be placed in a room with these certain people, um, you know, um, and you know, forced to do certain things and let go of certain things. So let's say you have your North Node in Scorpio. Well, if you think about the themes of the North Node in Scorpio, it has to do with letting go, um, releasing, um, you know, finding um, inner wealth and redefining security and getting out of your comfort zone. And um, it also deals with the eighth house inheritance life area. So that would mean that you would be sort of taken back down to memory lane. And I really have to do, um, you know, a survey for... Um, you know, your, no, um, your North Node and I will be interviewing people and asking them about their life and really, really getting deep into, you know, asking certain questions and seeing how accurate or how much they resonate with it and seeing how their personal experience with sort of the details that they can, you know, give for that. Uh, and that will be, uh, actually, it will be after Thanksgiving, so it will be... Um, it's going to be on December 1st that I'm going to be doing that, doing those um, you know, North Node, South Node interviews. Uh, more information about that will be another time. But so, say you have your North Node in Scorpio. Let's take you back to childhood and kindergarten. You might be for, put in a room with a bunch of objects, um, you know, and this event is really for anyone in any age, not not just children, but, you know, just, um, at, you know, any person, no matter what age, and you're put in a room, and then you are asked to sit and get real comfortable with adjusting to the room and all the things in it, and then, lo and behold, other people come, and then they, uh, other people take things from you. And then they say, oh, it's okay, I'll give it back to you. Or um, you're being forced to have to, um, you know, and there's several rooms, um, you know, aside from, apart from the room itself. Or people can come in into the room, come back, I mean, you know, come out of the room. And so you'll be, um, you know, really forced to give things up and trust in, um, you know, other people. Um, that's just one example, um, you know, another thing might be, you might be the only person in a room with somebody else alone and only, and you might be forced to just sit and don't move, don't do anything, and look into the rise and get deep with them, or, um, take a risk of some kind, um, you know, who knows what that'll be. Um, that's just an example, um, and so this event, um, is really, really fun. It's, you know, a neat, you know, t test of character, uh, challenge, um, and sort of pillar, an opportunity for growth. So that's what I wanted to, um, remind you of. And of course, details, information, um, you'll be going there and you'll, you know, check in, be put in a room and, you know, all the details. So that's all that I want to say about that. I don't know.